Hi everyone, I'm Tim and you're watching The Man Who Planted Potatoes. So let's get into it. Spuds update. Or should I say, Spuds summary. Welcome to the finale of our little show because this week, I harvested the potatoes! But it doesn't just stop there because, I harvested the shallots! Uh, I got about 20 potatoes and they range from being about sort of that big to being really, really tiny. And in some ways I wish I delayed it because when I pulled them up, these really little ones, they were still growing. But I was worried about this potato blight stopping it growing. So I thought it was best to just pull them up and have a look at what I've done. And then shallots wise, I got a lot of shallots. I think I got at least 30. The shallots have been cleaned and dried and now they're ready to cook with. So yeah, I don't really know what else to say except I'm really, really happy with it and it's gone really, really well. And after all those problems I had a couple of weeks ago, I'm I'm just really pleased it all came out okay. But it doesn't stop there because we've still got three other veggies. The beans are growing insanely well. I am slightly worried about them strangling each other, but honestly, they don't seem to mind. I've even got some little red flowers appearing on some of them, which is very, very exciting because they're the parts that are gonna grow the runner beans. And then there's the tomatoes. I really thought they were done for after the bad weather, but they've stayed alive and they've even kept growing. And once I sort of realized that they weren't gonna die and they were sort of stable, I pruned them and got all the sort of dry shriveled brown bits off them. So actually they're looking good too. And once again, I am the victim of my own success because I've got way more tomato plants now than I can actually grow or look after or really kind of fit in the limited space I've got to grow them in. So I made a decision to give them away. I've kept five and then some I've given to some friends at work. And in fact, my friend Matt got in touch the other day and sent me this picture. Look at this. It's lovely to see just how well it's growing, but also isn't it lovely that Matt's taken the time to stake it and to tie it with such a lovely ribbon to that stake. So thank you so much, Matt. This seems to be a recurring theme that whoever I actually give these tomato plants away to grows them better than I did. It's a bit annoying. Not gonna lie. Once I'd given those away, I still had seven left as well as the five I was keeping. So I decided just to put them outside on the pavement and let people take them. Now, the leeks. I've been struggling with what to do with the leeks since day one of planting them, but I've finally come up with a solution. Some of them have gone into the pots that the shallots were in. They couldn't go into the potato pot because while I was lifting the potato pot back to where it was after picking them, I dropped it and smashed it. Yep. So that's the end of that. But the shallot pots are still there and they've gone into the shallot pots and I've reused some of the soil from the shallots as well. You can't really do that with the potatoes because it can spread the blight, but you can do it with shallot soil. And then I've tried something slightly unusual. I found an old suitcase in a charity shop for £2.50 and I've put it onto some wooden sleepers and planted some leeks in. Now, mum didn't really like this idea. She was like, you're turning my garden into a junkyard. So we had to talk about it and the compromise we came to is that I've planted them round in an alleyway. And I'm very excited about this experiment because actually, that alleyway is gonna simulate a lot of kind of inner city conditions where you might have a big building up here and another building here, but you've got a very small space to grow something in. So this is another way to learn about, can you grow stuff in a very small space? Okay, so I just wanna use this thank you section to kind of really sum up uh, what's been happening across these blogs. Let's just have some facts first. In 15 weeks, I brought out 16 videos across YouTube and various social media platforms. We've actually reached over 200 different people, uh, whether that's people liking and following the page or whether that's uh, people coming forward with ideas or comments or sending me kind messages. We've also found 11 vegetables, which are easy-ish to grow. There's been a few challenges and wild cards in there, but largely I would say they're all vegetables that you could walk out of your door and start planting now. Obviously some of them you'll have to wait till they're in season, yeah? But actually I think one of my favorite bits of making these blogs has been the one more thing sections at the end of the videos. It's been amazing for me seeing just how people have responded to the current restrictions and the amazing ways in which they've made life livable and fun and interesting. It's been fascinating watching some of these people find a sense of purpose. You know, I really hope that some of the people who've been doing what they've been doing in lockdown won't stop when we go back to everyday life, that this will continue, that their, their passion and their drive will allow them to keep doing this and that they'll establish a new norm, just as I hope that I'm gonna keep gardening after things go back to normal. So thank you to everyone from the One More Thing sections and thank you to everyone for your support on these videos, particularly in the early videos, the way in which 
my ideas were bringing ideas out of other people on social media and on the internet and how their ideas were bringing other ideas out of me. That was what convinced me to keep doing this and not to give up. Yeah, I mean, seriously, when I started this blog, I was bored and I was very uncertain about what was going on. And I was a bit fed up, to be honest, um, after sort of all my work and really my life just sort of ended overnight. I never thought I would find so much joy and so much peace of mind and such a community by planting some vegetables in the ground or it not actually in the ground in some pots okay now the bit you're all actually wondering about what happens next so now that i've harvested the potatoes and the shallots the potato blogs are going to come to an end and the main reason for that is because bringing a video out on youtube every week is hard and editing is so much work. Oh my God, seriously. I've got a newfound respect for film crews, but this is not the end of the man who planted potatoes. I am gonna keep bringing out videos, just not every week. And that's gonna give me a chance to work on some of the other videos I've been trying to make. And it's also gonna give me a bit of time to work on each individual video more. So uh, that rather than just me talking, maybe you can see me showing you how to do some things. And of course, we need to know what's gonna happen with these potatoes. Well, never fear, because I have invited three of my friends who are creatives and YouTube-y people to come and do some projects with me, specifically finding fun things to do with potatoes. Whether they will all get back to me and come and um, film YouTube videos with me is another question, because bear in mind people are very busy and also people's lives have been blown wide open during this whole crisis. No promises yet, but hopefully, yes, we will get to see some fun stuff about, you know, potato related activities. And don't worry, I will let you know how the beans and the tomatoes and the leeks get on. So please do keep in touch. Please keep sending me pictures of the veggies you're growing at home. Please keep sharing ideas and let me know what you've all been up to during lockdown. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. It really, really does mean the world to me that you all, uh, you know, came and liked my page and watched these silly little videos I've been doing about growing vegetables and uh, came forward with ideas and comments and questions and got involved. Honestly, it absolutely means the world to me. And I'll see you all soon.